welcome back to the Wrestling Newsroom. I'm your host, All Things Wrestling, and today we're going to look at all the wrestling news from Monday. We start with a very concerning story. After he signed a multi-year WWE contract, Sin Cara was possibly injured at the WWE Live event in Madrid, Spain. He ducked to close line attempt from Baron Corbin and landed very awkwardly. He was checked out by officials, but there's been no other updates at this time. I mean, he landed really awkwardly. It looked very bad on his ankle. Best of luck on your recovery, Sin Cara. I do hope that it's not serious. I know I'm not the biggest fan of Sin Cara, but you never want anyone to get injured and lose potential earning months of their career. So best of luck. I'm hoping it's not too serious. Then we've got a really interesting story. Um, do Peter Boone Sider reports that Anthony Carell, formerly Santino Morello and WWE, was backstage at... TNA Bound for Glory. Uh, he did appear on TV with like a nameplate and they acknowledged that he was there. So whether he'll be main for the show or not, we don't know. But that's amazing that someone was there. Nice view, Santino. And then according to Peter Insider, recent Tough Enough winner Josh uh, Brady was released from the company at the end of last week. The belief was that he was dealing with concussion related issues and has, as he had not even been training at the performance center lately i kind of get that bye bye best of luck on your future endeavors then we have a few notes from bound for glory jimmy jacobs will be working for tna as a producer and will be at this week's impact taping shows as he appeared on the actual bound for glory pay-per-view a lot of major finishes including alberto Al patron interfering in the main event was reportedly Decisions made the day of the show. The creative team was apparently de debating on what they wanted to do just hours before the event. Uh, Sam Cal Callahan was back was in a backstage trailer before the show that had a "Do Not Enter" sign. Hmm. According to several fans, the crowd atmosphere was better than li better live than on television. However, there was apparently issues with the bathroom facilities. A Twitter user described the situation: the bathroom were dark porta potties. I was there. Concussions also concessions also ran out of bottled water by 9 p.m. It was in a loud section, but it was very hot, cramped in there, very uncomfortable seating. Damn, 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 damn. How do you run out of bottled water? Jesus, guys. Seriously. And then Kenny Omega spoke about his upcoming match with Chris Jericho at Wrestle Kingdom 12 during a press conference. He said, there's a ceiling here. You can only get so famous. Pro wrestling can only get you so popular. My dream is to break that ceiling. It always has been. Are we only big in Japan now? No. Everyone knows who we are. Everyone knows New Japan. But there's still that ceiling. There's that image that we can never compete. Watch me compete. And he was asked if WWE, he was asked about WWE and said, WWE in general... You can quote me on this, I don't care. Everyone there is so below me. Not one can put together a performance like me from there. Anyone that's copying anyone is copying me. I'm the trend right now. Okay, I can agree you're an amazing, amazing wrestler, Omega. But to put every single WWE talent down like that is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you're not a god. Come on, dude. To say everyone is so below me, that's just absolutely ridiculous. Sorry, that does annoy me more than I expected. And then Paige tweeted a message about being on a flight, which has led to speculation about where she's heading to. She reportedly not backstage at Bound for Glory, and Alberto Albatron recently mentioned that she could be days away from WWE. Returning to WWE. With this week's WWE television taking place in Manchester, the timing would make sense for a Paige return. Hmm... Cannot wait to see if that actually happens. And then Moose report, responded to negative reviews about Bound for Glory. For all the bloggers, reporters, haters that speak bad about TNA Impact Wrestling, screw you guys, Bound for Glory was awesome. Absolutely proud of our roster. What? What? And then indie star Ricochet was critical of Gail Kim winning the Knockouts title at Bound for Glory with the belief that Gail should be putting over people instead of winning the title as she retires. Lance Storm said first GPS, now Gail Kim, old Canada. And then Hurricane Helm says damn Canadians don't ever want a job. Smiling, uh, laughing, laughing, thumbs up, thumbs ups. And then Ricochet said, wait, she won, I thought she was retiring. Jeremy Bora said, hard work and respect spread off the greatest female wrestler I've ever seen. But she's retiring, so why not pass through the torch to the next generation, is all I'm saying. And then he said, 
I gave my really valid, not disrespectful opinion and immediately get attacked for it. Now I know how Dave Meltzer feels. Ha 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 ha. Why hate on him for that? Seriously, dudes. Seriously. I commend him for calling out that. She, she's under one it. She's on the verge of retiring. I don't know. It's a complicated one. And then we go to our last story. According to Peter Brunsider, there is concern within the company that Rome Reigns won't be back in time for Survivor Series. If Reigns cannot make the show, the backup plan is reportedly for Jason Jordan to take Reigns' spot and do a storyline where Jordan is teaming up with his father can angle for the first time. We do have an update on this. Spoiler alert for tonight's Monday Night Raw. Jason Jordan is announced as the last member of Team Raw for Survivor Series. So, yes... He is going to be on the team. Roman Reigns does not look like he'll be making it back in time. Concerned. Please get well, Roman. And that has been the wrestling news. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give this video a like. Please support me on Patreon. Link in the description below. Subscribe to see more content. And I'll catch you later.